Hello guys and gals, Buffalo here. For real? You ruined my intro. <laughs> a while back I done a video featuring some Agula mini shells, uh, buckshot, birdshot, and slugs. Got a lot of questions and mostly about the slugs. This is what they look like in the box. I just done some shooting in that video. I didn't do any chronograph work or anything. And I had several of you guys ask me to chronograph these. So that's what I'm going to do today. We'll get down here. Here's one. Here's one out of the box. You guys probably remember them from the last video. And here's one that I cut out of the shell. It doesn't say on the box what these weigh in at, but I had remembered reading somewhere that they were seven eighths of an ounce. So I took one of these in and measured it on my little pocket scale. I've got my scale zeroed out. We've got my slug here. Three hundred and eighty two point eight grains, which is precisely seven eighths of an ounce. So now that I know for sure what these weigh, we can get down here at the chronograph and do some work. It does give us a velocity on the box here. It tells us that they get 1,250 feet per second out of these. I mentioned that in the last video and many of you guys said that that is a highly exaggerated number, that I'll get nowhere near that over the chronograph. And I honestly don't know. I know sometimes manufacturers do exaggerate those numbers. I won't argue with you there. So I'll grab the Mossberg. It has the 20 inch barrel. It's the same shotgun that I used in that previous video. And we'll just go see what we're getting over the chronograph. We'll see what kind of numbers we're getting. So I'll meet you guys down at the range. Okay, I've got five of those mini slugs in the magazine tube. Got my Opsaw mini clip in here to make them run in this shotgun. I'll put five over the chronograph, then we'll crunch the numbers. <laughs> that one actually skipped off the ground and hit my steel target there on the backstop. All right, I'll crunch these numbers and see what we got. Okay, so I scratched out some math here on a little scrap piece of paper. Uh, I know it's not very professional to have a note on, on camera here with me, but remember, I've never claimed to be a professional. So those five shot average, the five shot average, excuse me, comes to 1225 feet per second on the velocity, which I think is pretty respectable. Uh, standard deviation was 75 feet per second and 1276 foot pounds of energy off that slug at the muzzle or at six feet from the chronograph. So that's pretty respectable, uh, pretty close to what's on the box. They list it as 1250 feet per second. That's, that's really close, and especially considering I'm using a 20-inch barrel. Most manufacturers will use the most efficient barrel length possible for their particular load to advertise those high-velocity numbers because velocity sells. So, if we throw out that extreme shot, that last shot I took was only 1,111 feet per second, which was outside the deviation of the other four. It was well outside that. If we threw that shot out, Really, you want to shoot at least 10 rounds over the chronograph, but I don't have very many of these, and I wanted to do a little more shooting today. So we've only got five rounds to deal with. I'm going to say that that extreme shot was just that. That, that number five shot, 1,111 feet per second, was just a, an oddball shot. Toss it out. The other four give us an average of 1,254 feet per second. Standard deviation of 45, which is much better, and 1,337 foot-pounds of energy as the result. So either way, that's pretty impressive for such a short little slug 
that really increases your capacity in your magazine tube like that and runs runs like a scalded eight with that opsaw mini plug in there or mini clip i mean so there's another look at that pretty impressive in my book uh you guys let me know what y'all think but i've got us seven jugs of water set up here let's plug one into that into that row of water jugs and and see how many we can take out one mini slug going in Man, that water's cold. All right, so we went through five jugs of water and I hit the edge of the six and it bounced off. So I'm gonna try this one more time and see if we can catch one of these slugs. I set a couple extra jugs of water off to the side in case it wants to veer out the side again. Maybe I can catch it like that. Mini slug in. That water is freaking cold. So, I'll grab the other camera and we'll have a look and see what we did. Okay, so I just took my earplugs out and realized the golf cart was sitting over there in reverse, making that horrible buzzing sound. So, that's what you heard while I was doing that shot there. But here's what we've got. We've got one jug laying over here, one over here. Third jug, fourth, fifth, sixth, and seventh blew straight through. So we didn't catch it, but I found it down here where it hit the ba uh, backstop and bounced off. Now if I can find it again. Ah, there it is. I didn't want to bother it. I left it laying. So right there it is. I think it probably hit the backstop and bounced back. I way underestimated this little slug. I thought for sure seven jugs would catch it. We did catch the plastic base wad in the jug. See it floating there? So we did catch that. not the actual slug itself so there you go I way underestimated that little guy let's put a couple shots on a steel target and we'll call it a day if you watch that last jug closely you can see it catch the wad off of that slug
I've only got five of these left. I'm gonna see if I can put them on that 75 yard steel gong out there. We're ready to go. Missed that fourth shot. <laughs> That's a lot of fun. I'm gonna have to buy some more of those mini slugs. They're a, they're a lot of fun just to have around and shoot real low recoiling, having a blast with them. All right, guys. That's gonna bring us to the close of this video. I'm all out of mini shells. Definitely gonna pick some more of these up next time I see them in stock. I was impressed with them on that first video I did and I'm even more impressed with them today. Actually, I underestimated them a little bit. They're fairly accurate. They hit hard and they're low recoiling. Add capacity to your shotgun, especially if you've got a Mossberg 500 or a Maverick 88. You can stick that Opsaw mini clip in there and uh, it'll run them like a scalded ape. I've got a video about that where I shot the slugs a bird shot and the buck shot i'll link it in the description of this video my videos are hard to find if you use the search function most almost all of my videos get demonetized and youtube would rather you watch a video that's monetized than one that's not so mine usually fall to the bottom not all of them but a lot of them will fall to the bottom of the search you'll have to scroll through several several pages to get to one of my videos so i'll have it linked in this in the description of this one if you want to check it out i also want to mention a channel i try to do a, a channel shout out every now and then uh for the same reasons gun channels are hard to find good ones are hard to find right now youtube makes it tough i'm not complaining it, it is what it is i'm just uh, just being honest with you so if you check out the target sweet channel I think you'll like what he's doing. The guy puts together some very high quality videos. He must have a really nice camera um, and he knows about guns and he likes a lot of the guns that I like. He likes, uh, you know, I, I, I'm a fan of his channel. I've been subscribed to him for a while, but he, he does lever guns and shotguns and uh, just posted a video about an old, uh, old pump 410. Uh, a lot of good quality content. I think if you'll uh, go over there and check him out you'll probably like him and probably subscribe if you don't you know not a big deal just don't subscribe but i try to help people out every now and then and i guess uh guess that's all i got so i'll talk to y'all again soon <laughs>